My bad, y'all. People keep calling me. Stop hitting my line. I'm busy. Eating. Quarantining. Recording. You heard? Perfect, but if we just try, you know. But it has to have God in it. It can't be him out of it. That's the only way it can work. Because, but it has to be up to Chris to, to <laughs> want to. Not Queen. To want to strengthen that relationship mm -hmm. um, together Child. with God. Mm -hmm. Because I'm willing, but mm -hmm. it's just about, you know, who Girl. you surround yourself with. Mm -hmm. What atmosphere you put yourself in, uh -huh. you put yourself in. Mm -hmm. Then the atmosphere is going to be harder. Mm -hmm. So it's about what are you willing to sacrifice? What about you, know, you boo? For us, mm -hmm. for your family. Mm -hmm. All and, him. You know, to give it one, one more chance. Mm -hmm. What do you feel like, what things do you feel like he should sacrifice in order to make you guys have a more trustworthy That don't make no type of sense. What what are you what what do you think that he should sacrifice to body yada 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 for your relationship? Ain't this a marriage? I thought a marriage consisted of two. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Honestly, since everything happened late at night, girl. And at the club. Girl. Strip club or whatever. I I just feel like he should Sacrifice going to the strip clubs, the clubs. Not saying that he can't ever go out and have, you know, fun. You're giving him rules, but whole time you're talking to Clarence and crushing on niggas from the red couch. My trust man. That's to be like more if, are, if he is going to go to the club, he should bring me. And not saying that he sh can't have boys nights out, but it's just when you, like, you should be home at a certain time. You shouldn't be out till 6 in the morning. You should. And you should not be crushing on nobody on Instagram while you're married, sis. You shouldn't be crushing on nobody but your husband. There is no such thing as crushes when you're married. Ain't no such thing as a celebrity crush. Ain't no such thing as an Instagram crush when you're married. That's a serious union and your only crush should be your husband and your wife. And while you over here acting like telling him what to do and imposing rules on him, whole time you communicating with that dude Clarence. Like, stop it, sis. We can go back. Now we can look back and see the bull crap. All lies. All cap. Cap! My bad, y'all. I'm eating a burger. Lit, lit. Who is that? To come home when the club ends. No after hours. No, ap no after hours strip clubs. Um, I want to see your phone. You can't Girl! Did you show him your phone? <laughs> can't get mad because i'm building back trust with you so you, if i want to check your phone randomly you can't be like breathing huffing and puffing just understand that it's a process girl you know? and it's not an overnight process i'm watching a film and i don't know if you changed your passcodes or anything i used to have them i don't know if you changed them but i need those i need your Instagram my intuition never lies it's, it's like i need all this time. stuff and you can't get mad if i want to check it just out the blue and it don't mean I'm searching for trouble. Mm -hmm. It just means I'm trying to see if you still, you know, doing good. If you really meant what you said. Girl, whole time cheating. Um, another sacrifice. Mm hmm. You ain't gotta I make no start sacrifice. Going to church. You ain't gotta make no sacrifices. So you just perfect. All right. Every every Sunday, let's mm -hmm. start praying together. Let's start going to Bible studies. Oh. But today, you were the dude that's getting high. I right. Is that something that y'all were originally doing and y'all just kind of... We were doing it at first, yeah. And yeah. everything seemed to run smoothly. It but does. It always does with God. Like I said, the more you leave God out your relationship, uh! the more it's going to fall apart. Boom! So you, so you know that, sis. So what the hell you doing with Clarence? What are you doing with, Qu I'm telling y'all, this YouTube clout, this fame gets, it, it really ruins relationships and it really, really like this, like people getting, having clout can really get to, to their head and stray them away from God and their relationship. People get a little popularity. It's like their pride and their ego gets the best of them. Now they think they got options. Now they feel like they stepping out of character, you know, they stepping out of bounds, forgetting where they come from, thinking that there's better out there and really it ain't. Because money is just an increase in a bank account. Clout is just popularity. None of that stuff is really, like, important, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
people get this YouTube fame, this clout or whatever, or anybody in the, in, in the world, even in a celebrity world. And it, 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 it just like you see everything fall apart because they, they lose themselves in this lifestyle. And that's exactly what Satan likes. He likes to distract you with all of these, you know, false um, temp- temptations, these pleasures, you know, like all of these quick, false pleasures, you know, putting other dudes in your face, you know, putting other girls in your face so you can cheat, um, you know, putting like the club, out, you know, the club and lust and stuff like it's all over the place to pull you away from your foundation. Like people just lose themselves sometimes. You know what I'm saying? That's why people got to be careful when they do this YouTube stuff. Like, yo, understand that clout means nothing. Views means nothing. And if it does, you are lame. Because honestly, if you depend on YouTube to make you pop in or if you depend on views to that makes that means you matter. That's that's a problem. You got to go to therapy and work on your self-esteem. You know, people lose themselves. They do. You know, she's talking and she's saying all the right things. But look at her today. She lost herself. Completely lost herself. Women to sacrifice those things. Clubs. After hours, your partner pays for it to things just so that way she can gain trust. That's crazy as hell. And she was cheating the whole time. <laughs> That's why Chris laughed because he know. Ah! He know. He know. You kind of hesitate a little bit. Yeah, and like. which, which? Because you was cheating too, and he which, knew. Which sacrifice are you kind of hesitant? And why? I mean, it's not. Let me tell y'all why Chris ain't take her dumb ass seriously. Chris ain't take her seriously because he already had told her to block Clarence. And all this stuff was happening. And nobody knew about it. Because she, she kept it under wraps. So it's like you telling me to do all this stuff. And he's laughing at you like, girl, <laughs> I'm saving you. I'm not letting the public bash you. But you know what you're doing. So it's like a joke to him. Like how it's a joke to me. Telling him not to go to the club. But you got a whole com- communication with a whole nother dude that she was less than after since, since Detroit. That's crazy as hell. Like that's why he was laughing. I would laugh. Like, girl, you crazy as hell. <laughs> Here you are trying to tell me not to go to the club. And you got a whole dude that you want, that you talking to. Girl! Child, I would laugh too. It's a joke. It's a joke. No, He's fried I already told you. You know, I, uh, you know my friends want to go to the club. I told them that I couldn't go. I showed you that. So I'm willing to sacrifice, you know, to get back to the church and all of that, you know. And, and as, as if she, things, girl, so, I, you know, you know what? Pray to get there sometimes, you need it. Huh? What? Okay. Okay. Um, I miss her. I, I, I miss her. I mean, it's not. She's sitting there like she just is like Jesus himself. You know what? You would joke, sis. No, I'm, I'm willing. I already told you. You know, I, uh, you know, my friends want to go to the club. You know, the other night I told them that I couldn't go. You know, I showed you that. So I'm willing to sacrifice, you know. Telling his homies he can't you know, go. You know, parents works and everything, so, you know. Trying. Pray to get there sometimes, you need it. Pray together sometimes you need it. So you don't need no prayer, queen. You don't need no prayer. I need prayer. Everybody that's going to comment down below or everybody who's listening to this, don't y'all need prayer? We all need prayer, but queen don't. She just said that you need prayer because you need it. Pray together sometimes because you need it. So basically God needs to only work on Chris, not queen. She's not flawed. She don't have no flaws. Okay. 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 Um, one thing that I can say, you guys are a public relationship. Everybody, Where's my water? A lot of people labeled you guys goals and things like that. So, um, with that being said, there was a lot of people on the contrary who look forward to seeing you guys fail. All these lies, yeah. I'm tired. Um, and quite frankly, Chris, you said it's bad that. Um, but clearly, you guys are going to work it out. So what do you guys have to say to the people, people who's hoping to see you guys fail? 
Oh yeah, them queen fans. At the end of the day, no matter if we're a public figure or not, you know, we got to do what's best for us. But you, you did. A lot of people can be like, you know, queen leave him, which you, you know, did. Of course, I had every right to. Bitch, no, you did not. You ain't had every right to do nothing because you was cheating too. I can't, I don't, I can't, I can't, which I had every right to. Girl, this is exactly why Chris said she's delusional. But you know what? Like I said, things come to light. This girl literally is playing. She's acting in a movie. Somebody please cast her. Tyler Perry needs to come get her. She's already plugged up and connected up. She needs to go to the Tyler Perry studios and go get a role. She would get it. And I would go watch because I would thoroughly be convinced of her character. Because What? And I had every right to. What? I had every right to do what? To leave? So you getting your mama car shot up and you cheating on Chris and you doing all of this and you talking to Clarence like Chris don't have a reason to leave you too? Like who you think you is? I, there's only one Jesus Christ. That's, that's, that's the only person that I know that is perfect. Okay. And you said, and she was like, oh, you know, people want y'all to fail. Yeah, her queen, the queen fans, the ones that are weird, they're the ones who be invasive, telling married folk what to do with their lives. And it's like, she let them eventually get in her head because they were all bashing him. So she let them get in her head. But the thing is, nah, she been wanting to leave because she had her eyes on Clarence. All of this victim playing was to save her image so she, so she can look like the good guy, so she can look like she got a reason to leave to be with Clarence. You see, she said, I have every right to, because she wanted to. She was using that to get to Clarence and to be with him, point blank, period. Y'all got, got manipulation tactic. Next. It's about, we have more things to think about. It's not just us. This is not just boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, this is a marriage. This is a covenant. Girl, shut up. You ain't respect it. Something that we, me and you talked about, we talked about growing old together, you know? And this is honestly the first deep heartbreak I've had from you. How you going? Like, how you going? How, 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 how you going to grow old together and do all of that with, with crushing on people on Instagram? How you finna how you finna grow old with somebody? You finna be how you finna do that when you crushing on people on Instagram? Girl, shut up. Willing, you know, to change. I'm I tired. This burger I'm hit though. Work through it. I feel like nobody else should say anything about that. Cause at the end of the day, it's us. I have to live. Exactly. So all the queen me. fans go. You know, we take that. Exactly. It should. It's about them. It's not about y'all. So all of y'all need to go flush your faces in the toilet because y'all do too much. Tell, bashing Chris, telling her to leave him. Y'all, y'all do too much. Go to bed, cause y'all be young. Go put y'all children down to sleep with that with with the snot in their nose that's green. You don't even know they got a bacterial infection, cause you too invested in Chris and Queen marriage, telling them how to move and what to do and when to divorce. You know what I'm saying? Like get your get yourself together. You know what I'm saying? It's them bashing Chris and telling her to leave him is not your place point blank period it's a marriage it's a covenant like she said it's it's her him and God they both broke that covenant but one is acting like the victim and the other is owning up okay and that's why I'm team Chris because he admitted all his flaws point blank period and we see a live and living color Child, I ain't got time I ain't got time to clean bowls mm -mm. I do not have the time I do because of quarantine, but still, you know what I mean. To the grave, so I apologize to our fans if they feel like we misled them. You ain't gonna apologize to your husband. But we're, we're humans, like we're humans, we're normal people. You know, we go through just like everybody else. What you gotta say? What do you have to say to the people <coughs> that want to see you fail? Don't want to see the relationship. Yeah, them, they don't want to see them win. They never did. Well, first off, I mean, just state the obvious that nobody's perfect. Nobody, but Queen acting like she is. And, you know, I mean, people, people don't like to see other people. You know, they don't like to see success, especially if exactly because they, they kids lives. got bacterial Honestly, infections and they unhappy. They baby that don't so want them. Like all that they be mad. To see us, you know, fall. But Urgh, I was gonna growl. I'm not using that as an excuse. As long as someone making mistakes, 
and get back up and learning from those mistakes. Right, right. It's a difference, you know, instead mm-hmm. of keep doing them over, 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 you know, and don't learn or don't have no sincerity of changing. That's when it becomes a problem. Like, let's say if I didn't want to change, you know, that's when it becomes a problem. But as long as me and you on one accord, Forget everybody. Me, F them. Uh, F them fans. Who are they? They need to worry about their man. Yeah, Oops, they ain't got one. Other, so as long as we on good terms, as long as we make the covenants to each other. Exactly. And trying to be, you know, I know we're not perfect, but, but people can, you know, progress. It's all about pro- progressing, you know, and, and us wow. moving forward. So, you know. I got one more question. What do you got to say to the people that you didn't see? Girl! Girl! Oh my God. Once again, whole time talking to Clarence. Whoo, child, I want to pass out because I ain't never seen this much. I ain't never seen this level of finessing in my whole life. I've watched 35 minutes and 57 seconds of finessing. I can't, I'm weak. And this burger is not giving me the energy I need to be able to consume, to be able to handle this cap that I'm witnessing. My God. Ooh, child. I mean, was, I mean, honestly, it was just. Um, <clears throat> I just want to raise my hand and say something. Somebody picked me. Okay, picked. You never, ever, ever let the side pieces know that you're sweating them. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. Never, ever let these bitches see you sweat. Never let these bitches see that they. Because these, they got on camera for a reason they wanted to hi my name is such and such and we're the girls that slept with chris sales they wanted that clout you never let these hoes see you bothered even if you are upset even if you are mad you throw vases and glasses at the house but when you on camera or when you out you never let these bitches see you in any type of pressure you never let these bitches apply apply pressure to you or let them see you you know fold it like patio furniture like i had a dude his ex-girlfriend hated me she used to do things that used to piss me off and I used to cuss him out all the time, but she never knew that because I'll never let a bitch see me, Alexandra, me, never let a bitch see me bothered or, or give them the satisfaction of thinking that they're relevant or that they have some type of position or they're important or they're affecting my life. The fact that she even asked about those girls, those girls are feeling great because they're like, oh my God, they're talking about us. We're on camera. Now you play these bitches dust. Didn't you hear Beyonce dust to side chicks? Don't pay attention to these hoes. Never let a bitch see you sweat. Never let a bitch see you bothered. Never let a bitch see you hurt. It's okay to show hurt, not the side bitch though. Treat these hoes like, okay, all right, I saw the video, cool, but you're not gonna get a response out of me. You're not gonna get a, you're not gonna get a, 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 a whisper from me. I'm not gonna be on camera sitting in front of people talking about my marital issues except for a counselor. Those girls would have got no clout for me at all. If it was me, I would have just handled my husband at the house, went to counseling. I would have never did nothing public. Nobody would ever know anything other than he got caught cheating. We, I would have handled my, handled my marital issues privately. And them, those hoes would have never, ever, they would have been wondering how does she feel because they would never know. You never let a bitch see you very much bothered ever. That's golden rule. The same way they say do unto others as you will have them do to you. Another golden rule, you never let these side bitches, these side pieces, these biscuits, these coleslaws, you never let them see you sweat. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever. That's, 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 that's law. I'm, I'm, put, I'm putting you up on game, period. Never. What I look like. Bitch, you are relevant. Okay, you came out, my husband cheated. Oh, Tay, okay. Okay, yeah, you got on camera, you got clout. Congratulations. Clout. Yes, you got it. Great, great job. But I'm not addressing you. I'm not speaking on you. I'm not bringing you up on camera. Who are you? Three blind mice. I don't give a damn. Who are you? My problem is my husband. And But that's the thing, though. When you're secure, that's how you think. Those bitches should have never, ever got any type, any type of come up or brought up or they should have, they should have never been brought up, period. You should have never given, she should have never given them no type of clout at all because you just show them. Oh, I got to her. I got her insecure. There's nothing better than a. There's nothing. There's no better feeling to a side chick to than to than to have the main chick or the girlfriend feel insecure. Bitch, you'll never you'll never see me in that predicament. Cause in real life, I'm not. And and number two, 
I'll never, ever, ever give you the satisfaction of seeing me fold. Like, excuse me, very much irrelevant, very much John Doe, very much missing. You're not missing, but to me, you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know what, I don't know what, I don't know who this, I don't know such a person. I've never seen him in my life. I don't know. Claims to have slept with my husband. Maybe that's true, but you're irrelevant. I don't know. That's how, that's how I move. Like, these hoes don't bother me. Like, what? Skedazzle. Uh, I mean, I just acted up. They, they honestly came up to me. This is how the story of came up to me. Too much cloud. Uh, you know, in the uh, club. And she told me, well, I want you to notice me. Exactly. That's what these bitches want. They want you to notice them. So why are you bringing these girls up on camera, queen? You're very much insecure. Why would you bring them up on camera? You just gave these, there are, they, at that time they was cartwheeling. Yes. You know, they're having a special and they're having a conversation that we were mentioned. You don't let these hoes, you don't let these hoes see that. You don't give these hoes the satisfaction. Like, are you kidding me? Bitches would have thought they was dead by the how, by the way I treated them. Bitches would have thought that they didn't exist. People would, they would have questioned their own existence. Like, damn, she don't even, do I even exist? No, you're very much irrelevant. <laughs> That's how I move. Like, I don't care. I'm going to deal with my dude in the house. I'm going to deal with him, but I don't give a fuck about you. Like, I don't care about you, sis. John Doe. Unknown. I was talking to her. And, you know, she gave me her number. She was like, you know, I'll be with such and such. You know, I was like, okay. And, you know, it was kind of one of those one night stand things. You know, I didn't catch feelings for her. He admitted all you know, his cheating and she I, I ain't never once said that she was talking to Clarence on camera you know, while married. Wanted, she basically wanted, she basically wanted what you got. She trying to, she wanted to destroy you. She knew what she was doing. She wanted to destroy Exactly. You. I have no feeling. That's what these side hope. Child. She exactly says, you're the wife. Know your position. These bitches mean nothing. You really let three bitches get on camera and fold you like patio furniture. You really was, you sat there and let these bitches feel like they were relevant. They wanted to see, they want what you got. They want the couple goals. They want, they want your husband and you lived and they slept with him for one night, which means nothing. And you let these chicks like, see you sweat. Like you asking him, what do you have to say to them? Nothing. Nathaniel. Like, <sighs> Girl, like I said, chicks would have been questioning a whole reality and existence because Alex don't know you. Who? I, I, I ain't never heard of her. You showing insecurity. You showing insecurity. Bad move. They they cartwheeling. You took not to backpedal, but mm -hmm. did you guys only mess around one time or was it multiple? Just once. Are you still in contact with any of those girls from the video? I'm doing too much. I'm asking too much. Okay. And again, not to backpedal. So in the video, the girl had FaceTimed you and she had mentioned you guys possibly hanging out later on that day. Did you guys ever end up meeting up again? Okay. All right. So... Child. Do you have any other questions? I just wanted to say, see the difference. Do you see why I'm teaming Chris? Chris just basically told you a rundown of everything he did. The girl came up to me, wanted what you got, got her number, smashed her once. You know, he basically told her what it was, like verbatim, like on camera in front of everybody, told everybody, this is what I did. Queen sitting there talking to Clarence at that same time, didn't say anything. Never, ever told anybody about Kiran. Chris had to expose her about that. You know what I'm saying? Very much manipulative, very much a liar. No respect. This man, that's why I respect Chris, because he admitted all his faults. I know, we know all that Chris did as far as what he told us, as far as those girls, the cheating. He admitted that. But Queen has never admitted anything because she's why? An actress for Tyler Perry. Coming soon. Do you have any other questions, Queen? I ain't got none. I have all, I know all I need to know. So in closing, um, I feel like for the most part, that is 
everything put out on the table. It ain't. Um, she was lying. Supposing you guys are. It wasn't ever. That's what they don't know. See, that's sad. They didn't even know that wasn't everything put on put the, put out on the table. Cause Queen had her secrets that she was hiding and she never told. That came out later. Got them. Moving forward with your marriage. According to Queen, it is going to be a process. Mm -mm. Um, according to you, you're going to, she was trying to try leave. and, you know, do the things that she would like for you to do. Like she ain't got no work to do. Yeah. Um, is there anything final that you would like to Hurry say up. to her? Mind you, time. yes, we know that you gave her a private apology. Um, but again, she said it was a whole public situation. Is there anything that she would like to say to your wife? in front of you guys subscribers and everybody she definitely wasn't a wife because for you to sit in front of your husband and let him go through this and knowing that you basically were doing things too that's messed up you could have the same way chris was fessing up you could have said you know what i did this i did that i did third would have got so much more respect from me yeah okay they both messed up they could make it work but you had the public on one side bashing somebody just because you wanted to save your ass in public image so people won't won't see that you are the the wife that left the, your man for another man. You basically sacrificed Chris and basically let him take the fall for everything, just to save you, just to make you, just so people won't, just so people, just so that the people can focus on Chris and not focus on the fact that you left your whole husband for Clarence. Have the public focus on Chris, so the public won't focus on the fact that you was been talking to Clarence. That was the, that, that's the got him. That's what she did. Trifling. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, girl. And it sat there the whole time talking about what Chris got to do. And she ain't got to do nothing. I, did you hear anything she said she could work on? I could work on this. I could work on that. Come on now. Really? You're, she's never going to be in a successful relationship because she don't, she don't think she's wrong about anything. And she's manipulative highly. And she definitely is a liar. And she's not going to be successful in any relationship and I guarantee you, Clarence, they're not going to last. We already know that. But all I know is that Chris was honest and Queen was the one who was lying the whole time. OK. Close watching, it. I ain't um, got time. Just to basically close this out. You got this man on here owning up to all his faults. Period. Clarence ain't never. I mean, I'm, I'm 21, you know, I know a lot of people say it takes longer for guys to mature about. He was 21 years old. My God, he was 21 and made the decision to marry you at a very young age. That's some type of maturity. You, he, he's young. Y'all both young. He was 21 and really, really put an effort to put a ring on your finger and give you and your baby, like, the world and it's like really you had the whole world condemn this young man are you kidding me i'll never respect her bro like i said chicks ain't loyal mm -mm. okay Should close it, be, it. that's all she had to do stay by his side but she wanted other things I can't expect our relationship to be how it used to be. I know, you know that's kind of cliche, you know. We've been together for almost going on five years. And threw it all away. You know, that's, that's a lot of time to just be wasted or for somebody to keep making stupid, dumb decisions <laughs> and not get the act together. Ah! You know, see if I made, you know, some bad choices, you know. But, you know, right now I want to own up, you know. You could tell he loved her because any man that sits up there and knows what you're doing and takes the whole blame, he does love you, sis. You played yourself once again. He loved you for real, for real, because he didn't expose you. He didn't put you out there. There, he took. it took time for him to do that when he was really, really comfortable popping out your neck. Then he exposed you. But you had a good husband that sat up there and took the whole blame and told the whole world his fault and let you slide and slip and slide like Trina and Trick Daddy, slip and slide past all your mistakes. He covered it over for, he, he basically paid for her sins and his. Took the whole blame. I'm just saying. Everything on the table, you know, and be a man. You know, and, you know like I said, I already told you outside of this camera, you know, that I love you and I'm willing to do everything I can to keep my family. You played yourself, sis. 
Clarence don't care for you. Not like Chris. I ain't never heard Clarence say not a damn, not not such a thing. I'm ready for our wedding. I'm ready to we say our vows. You know, I'm ready for for a clean slate. And I and I, I thank God that God gave me you. You know, you know it. God, it's so sad. Like, like you forgave me. You know, a lot of women won't do that. You know, a lot of women probably would. I would have had an iron up my head or you know something. I would have a frying pan up your head. That's not. That's not good. But, <laughs> but yeah, like I and y'all be like, oh, Chris is abusive. She just said she would throw a frying pan at his head. So you don't think when she was, you know, when she's cheated, but you don't think when Chris cheated, she was trying to kill him? She was. Y'all just heard she was, I would throw a frying pan up your head. So yeah, kill that abuse stuff, okay? When your man cheat on you or when your, or your, when your girl cheat on you, people be fighting, point blank, period. Stop acting stupid and oblivious to the facts. Next. Yeah, um, like I said, I love you to death. Cheat on me, child. Nobody else mean nothing. Death. At least attempt it. You know, you know. Do, you, do you think you guys can consider taking counseling? Or That's what you. <laughs> that. That's you what. That this is what this should have been. Y'all should have been at a doctor's office. I blame office. myself for this situation here, but it's things that I can improve on too. Oh, thank you, Jesus. She said. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. She said that there's something she can improve on. God, God, God. Rest rest your spirit on her soul. She's she God, God. Woo. Child. I got hot flashes. I'm just kind of praising him because she finally said, you know, something about herself. Like, whoo, child. I could just jump back from the ghost. That they be faking in church. Woo. Child. Well, I'm not no angel. Ooh! Thank you, G. Ooh. You're not no angel. Thank you. Angel of mine. I. Uh. You know what I'm saying? The ghost that people don't get at, they be faking at church. That's exactly how I'm feeling right now. Sis said, I'm not an angel. Because she know what she was doing. Um, I want to make you happy too. Ooh! You know, it shouldn't be a give and yeah! just give your thing. Yes! It should be us both give. Ooh! And I want to make you happy too. She might have waited to the very, very, very end, but she finally started talking some sense. You know, I want you to be in love with me truly. I right. Want you to reasons too. So, counseling will be good. Christian counseling. You know, somebody's going to lead us the right way. This is sad, bro. Okay. Well, speaking of giving and giving, how about you guys give, give each other hits <laughs> on camera, and we go ahead and close it out. <laughs> Y'all be sure. Give them what they want. Give them what they want. <laughs> and I want to be read, too. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, all right, you guys. Do you see how Thank he you guys so much for. Do you see how he looked at her? Do you see how he looked at her with admiration? Have you ever? This is somebody that's not wiping away your kisses. He's he kissed her. Did you look? Focus on how he looked at her. You saw how he looked at her. He looked at her like he was in love, cause he was. Despite his mistakes, have you ever seen? He was. He's never wiped no kisses away from Queen's mouth. That's somebody he wanted to kiss, cause that's somebody he genuinely loved. Moral of the story is, kids, never think the grass is greener on the other side. Obviously, they both made mistakes. They both cheated. They both were young when they got married. But this marriage could have been saved had people been more honest, had people been what she said at the end, had she basically really meant that and and really, really worked on herself to make him happy and him do the same instead of focusing on the clearance. And, 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 you know, being devious and leaving Chris for Clarence, had she focused on him and her marriage and not lust, I'm pretty sure they would have had that daughter they wanted. I'm pretty sure they would have been, her ring would have got upgraded. I'm pretty sure 
after all the trials and tribulations in the end, they would have grew old together because a five year relationship, you don't just throw that away. That's a marriage. So at the end of the day, no matter how much like I may be like, you know, queen like was foul for certain things. It really, really hurts my feelings that this was a real marriage and social media and fans, you know, just basically ruined it and 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 letting people get into their heads ruined it and it could have been saved but people got distracted so it's like never think the grass is greener on the other side ever and always just remember that what you got appreciated she should have appreciated chris and I'm pretty sure she's missing all of this because Clarence gives her none of this. You got to do it on camera, wiping your kisses away. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? And you got Chris over here looking at you like you're God himself. Come on now, sis. Anywho, that was my reaction, guys. All in all, don't lust. Don't think the grass is greener on the other side. You may think that somebody's better than your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or your wife, or your husband, but you're sadly mistaken. You'll get over there and realize it's nothing but moth, dust rats rodents vomit and fecal matter over there and then you get over there you're stuck over there and it's like dang i dug myself in a hole i can't even go back honestly it's still not too late for queen to go back it may seem like it but she's not humble enough to admit that hey i messed up you know what i'm saying like it's still not it's never too late as long as you're alive you can still go and make your marriage right you could leave clarence right now drop everything and go to chris but you know that's not what she wants to do you know, had I been her, I would have remembered these times and compared the love and I would have left and went back to my husband that God put me with, that I had a ring with, period, like with the baby and all. OK, I made a mistake. I had another baby, but I'm going back home. I don't belong to this dude that's here. He's not for me. You know, she belongs really to Chris, to be honest. Y'all see this. Y'all see the vibes, the connection. Like, come on now. It's like it radiates from the, the screen. But anywho, it's never too late to make things right, no matter how bad it looks. And be honest and admit your faults and don't ever think the grass is green on the other side. And be appreciative of what you got. Because if when you lose it, you might end up with something very bad and you're going to regret it and feel bad. You know what I'm saying? So that's my reaction, guys. Peace.